And now, your 13 News Now weather forecast, certified most accurate in Hampton Roads. Well, it seems like for about the past four weeks, we've been talking about these dramatic swings in temperatures. We had one just in the course of about an hour today. And the next seven days, more ups and downs as we see these big swings in temperatures coming up. Had the showers around today, still some lingering showers across parts of Hampton Roads. Not seeing nearly the coverage that we had earlier today as that cold front moved through. Came through just around the midday hours, and you can see how things are starting to fall apart just a little bit. We'll call for a few more isolated showers as we go through the evening and into the overnight, but again, not nearly as numerous as they were earlier today. And here's a look at what temperatures did. Notice at 8 o'clock, we were up to 66 degrees by 10 o'clock down to 48 and to be a little more specific at 851. So at 9 o'clock we had a temperature of 66 degrees and then by 938 in the morning, 47 minutes later, we dropped to 55 and then just 11 minutes later, we dropped down to 48. So really we had a big temperature drop just over in the span of an hour there between 9 and 10 o'clock and temperatures have pretty much leveled off and that's where they will be through much of the evening. Here's that system as it worked its way through cold front right through here pushing southward. It is now clear to areas of the outer banks and notice that we are seeing some clearing back over the mountains of Virginia and some of our northern and western locations could see a little bit of clearing tonight, but in general we're looking at cloudy skies for much of the night with those stiff winds coming in out of the north, bringing in those colder temperatures. Some isolated showers here through the evening. Notice Futurecast pretty much agrees with our forecast that they'll start to wind down and maybe just some mist or drizzle or a few isolated sprinkles overnight. And the clouds will remain with us through much of the day tomorrow. And once again, we could see an isolated shower in a few spots. We'll put those chances of rain tomorrow at around 20%, but those winds continuing out of the northeast will mean chilly temperatures once again. By tomorrow evening, maybe a little more moisture working in, so we'll call for a few isolated showers tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, but notice the winds picking up a southerly direction. That's a warmer direction for us, so temperatures will respond. Notice by noon already up into the mid 50s. I'll make a run for 60 degrees into the afternoon, and again, Wednesday's not looking like a washout of a day, just cloudy skies and a few isolated showers. Rainfall chances will go up, though, a little bit later this week. Cloudy skies right now over parts of the south side, the peninsula, and all across Hampton Roads. 42 degrees winds coming in out of the north at 20 miles per hour, and pretty uniform temperatures, mainly in the low to mid 40s all across the region. And we'll call for those cloudy skies tonight. Blustering cold, scattered showers, especially through the evening, then becoming fairly isolated later tonight. 36 for a low, 41 tomorrow. Freezing cold. Isolated showers are likely, but when we say isolated, we just mean that we think there will be showers out there. They'll just be very few and far between. So there will be some showing up on radar, but in general, we're looking at just the cloudy skies tomorrow. Same thing tomorrow night down to 35 degrees. Isolated showers once again possible on Wednesday, but milder up to 56 degrees as those winds switch around towards the southwest. And by Thursday, we're up to 73 degrees. A little bit of a better chance for a few showers. And those rainfall chances will go up, especially Friday afternoon, Friday night. That's when another cold front will move through. 70 degrees for a high on Friday. We're back into the 30s Saturday afternoon, and it might be another day where the warmest readings are at midnight and temperatures fall through the day, but then temperatures go right back up on Sunday and Monday back into the 50s and 60s.